The Portuguese Parliament, Assembleia da República, hosted the parliamentary dimension of the Portuguese presidency of the Council of the EU during the first semester of 2021. During a time heavily marked by the COVID-19 pandemic, Parliament promoted 27 conferences and meetings, bringing together 1,708 participants to debate critical topics of the European agenda. Muito bom dia, caros colegas. 158 speakers made a virtual visit to Lisbon to share their views, their experiences, their fears and their hopes. 35 agenda topics were debated, expressing the core of citizens' concerns. From leaders of major institutions such as the United Nations and NATO, the European Council and the European Commission, the European Central Bank and the Eurogroup, to experts and humanitarians, to those that keep us safe and those that dream of a better future for Europe. Lively debates were held due to the over 600 participants that took the floor during the meetings. And despite the pandemic, parliamentarians from the 27 member states, from the European Parliament and from 16 other countries came together to exchange views in a wide range of meetings. A Presidência Portuguesa do Conselho da União Europeia pode ser descrita com uma palavra muito simples, fazer. Freedom without security is the law of the strongest. Security without freedom is a dictatorship. La pandemia ha portato alla esacerbazione delle disuguaglianze e minaccia così la coesione delle nostre società europee. The EU is open to the rest of the world. The EU people of Social Rights Action Bank gives us a way forward to more social, more inclusive Europe. We have set the overall target that member states should vaccinate a minimum of 70% of the adult population by the end of summer. All of us know democracy must never be taken for granted. Há que agir com responsabilidade, diálogo e solidariedade. E há que agir com rapidez. Rural areas are the backbone of um, Europe. Constituem um palco ideal para a procura de soluções sustentáveis para os desafios globais que enfrentamos. And to offer a sense of being in Lisbon, we produced videos to welcome you in the beauty of the palace which hosts our parliament, as well as exhibitions prepared to celebrate the diversity of Europe and the major milestones in the European project. We also aimed to share more of Portuguese culture through music moments at the end of each conference, taking advantage of partnerships with national museums and orchestras. We thank each and every one of you who made this possible. Members of the Portuguese Parliament, our amazing staff, and of course, all the speakers and participants who stood with us in this endeavor, that hoped to maintain the debate alive when it was most needed, in order to strengthen our lively and plural democracies and work towards a better Europe for all. Mission accomplished. Thank you all. See you in Ljubljana.